Hey, Sam from 3D here. Today we'll talk about automatic rigging. Rigging is the process of adding bones to characters so you can pose and animate them. Usually this process is quite time consuming, but there are ways of making it faster and even automatic. Today we'll use Adobe's Mixamo and Real Illusion actor Core Eku Rig. That's a mouthful, so I'll just call it Eku Rig. Mixamo is an older service now owned by Adobe. It is still online, but there is no updates being made to it. It's completely free and apart from the rigging. We also have many free animations. Since this service is not updated anymore, there are no new animations or characters being added. They have a Blender add-on that takes your rigged character and adds a control rig to it. Useful if you want to adjust the animations or make new ones in Blender. The next tool is EcuRig. It's a software instead of a website and only available on Windows. For the Penguin users out there, I could not get it to work under Wine or Proton. I couldn't test on a Mac, sorry Apple people. EcuRig is free to rig your characters and there are free animations, but they also have high quality motion captured animations for sale. I'll use this character from 3D.Design as an example, but you don't need to do this, since all of our characters are rigged and highly customizable. First, let's export our character. To export a character, you can just select the whole character, click on File Exports and either export an FBX or OBJ file. These are the most common formats. However, this character has a bunch of modifiers and you can also see he's in a bit of a pose if we export this character. Now it's either going to export with the armature or it's going to export it in this pose. Since we're going to rig this character elsewhere, I'm going to remove the armature modifier, but before I'm going to pose mode. Select all by pressing I and just press Alt G to clear the movement. Alt R to clear rotation and Alt S to clear scale. Now back into object mode. I'm going to remove the armature modifier from all of the pieces of this character. Don't forget the stuff inside, like the teeth and tongue. Now that I removed all the armature modifiers, you can see that we still have other modifiers here. Whichever modifier is visible, meaning this little monitor icon is on, is going to be exported as applied. This character has a bunch of modifiers because of its module nature. These are used to control which parts are hidden and which are not, depending on the outfit you select for it. I do like how it looks. So with everything selected, just go to File Export and I'm going to export it as OBJ, mark selected only and click on Export Wavefront or FBX. Let's start on Mixamo. You're going to need an Adobe account to use Mixamo. I'm already logged in. So right here you're going to click on Upload Character and you can either drag and drop your character or click on Select Character File. And I will just wait for it to upload and process. And you will see your character in the middle of the screen. And you can adjust its rotation in case it's wrong. In this case, it's right. So just click Next and now as it's shown in this picture here, you're going to click and drag these little points to where they need to be. If you want to, you can disable the symmetry and change the amount of fingers here. And click next and after a little while you're going to see your character moving. In this case, the fingers actually worked very well. You can see the skeleton by pressing this button. Sometimes it gets huge like this, but when you import it back to Blender, it's going to work fine. If you're unhappy with the positioning of the joints, you click on back, readjust and click on next. I'm happy however, so let's click next. Now click over on animations and we have a bunch of animations that we can select from. Let's use a nice dance animation right here on the side. You have a couple of options like overdrive, which going to make the animation a little more extreme. And the other way around too, I'm going to reset it, the space from the character arms. And here's is to trim out how many frames you can also mirror the animation. Now remember that if you upload another character, this one will be deleted. So keep that in mind. Talking about characters, you can find them on this tab right here. All of these are free and you can just download and use them with all the other animations it has. As you may have noticed to download, just click on the download button. You have a couple of options here. First is the format. You're probably just going to leave it as FBX binary and the skin is the character. So if you want to download the animation without the character to apply this animation to this character that you already have in Blender. If you want to download the animation with the character, just leave with skin and then just click on download. Guys, I won't show how to use their add-on because it's really easy and they have a full video on Mixamo's website teaching it. The link for all these will be in the description down below, very close to the subscribe and like button if you know what I mean. Now onto Eku Rig. To use Eku Rig, you're going to need a real illusion account. I've already logged in and now we can either search Sketchfab for a model or choose a file. I'm going to choose a file. 
with the character open. You also have the option to rotate it in case it's the wrong direction. This is the symmetry line. Everything that you place from one side will be placed on the other on this section here. If you already rig the character using Ecurig, you can click here on preload Ecurig data to open that config for the same character. I don't. So let's go to rig body. It's going to try its best to find the correct locations for all the joints. And you can see the joints here on this picture. It doesn't always get it correctly, so let's do it manually. When you hover your mouse over, you can see on the top right corner where the joint should be. And it can also enable symmetry so they move together. If you forgot to enable symmetry and you move something, you can use these buttons to mirror. I'm going to enable symmetry and place the points. This point here is supposed to be on top of his feet. And I can't really see from this angle, so I'm just going to click to rotate. The controls are right here and have some camera preset here. Click on rig right hand and select the number of fingers. This character has 5, so 5, and click next. You can see that it did the same thing. It tried to automatically find the correct positioning. And in this case it actually did pretty well. Just gonna move this one a little bit in. So just click on rig left hand and it's pretty much the same. Finalize character. You can select a couple of different animations here in the corner to test out the rig. And let's say his feet were pointed in the wrong direction. If you click the feet, you can move it a little bit. Now of course, this doesn't make really any sense on this character, but it's very useful for crooked characters. We can also test his hands, and there's a couple of acting pieces here too. And now we have two options. We either click on export and then select where it's going to. And if click on export FBX, you will have a blender preset here. And just click export and save it to your hard disk and import it to blender or one of the many tools that we have here or click on upload to actor core. This is going to upload it to their website so you can apply their animations and download your character with their animations. Now you see it's uploading this file and it's stuck at 19%. I don't know why. I've tried many different times, but I'm always getting this. Probably it's a bug. This is a fairly new software. It's only v1.1. So from here on now, I'm just going to show you how we will do the rest of the tutorial. But with the default character that they give me in the website. Here on Actor Core website, we're going to click on my rigged actor in case you were able to upload your character. If you want to see their characters, just click here on latest or any of these categories. And we have a bunch of characters that you can download and use. And there are of course a couple of free ones as well. But we want animations, so click on motion and here we have a bunch of animations. You can see here how many they have. Let's see the free stuff. Click on free and these are all the free animations. Let's get this aerobic dance one. And if you were able to upload your character, you would see him doing these actions. In order to get this free animation, just click on add the card and then go to checkout. Since it's free, you just click checkout and download in my inventory. Just click on it and click on download motion. My character doesn't show up here because I haven't managed to upload it. So just click on the robot and click next. You also have the target application here and the FPSs. Just click download. They will download the FBX file and you can import it into Blender. That's it. You have the know-how to rig any characters you want and get some sweet animations for them. You can do this manually on Blender. A lot of Blender rigs use the RigFi add-on that comes with Blender, but if you don't want to deal with that, and the weight paint process, this will work great for you. Weight painting being the process of telling to the bones which part of the model they control, and how much of it they control. As always, I hope this video was informative for you. If you want to be around like-minded people, check out our Discord at the description down below. Give us a like and a subscribe to feed the algorithm and leave a comment on what should we talk about next. Bye.